Imagine a giant beach paradise complete with white sugar, sand, and crystal clear water, but instead of being on the Gulf of Mexico, it's right in your backyard. Well, you don't have to imagine anymore because you can find that right here in the heart of one of Tampa Bay's most popular suburbs. This is Murata. In this video, we're gonna talk about all the things you need and want to know about living in this beautiful master planned community. You'll get to know where Murata is located, what type of real estate options you have, the shopping, the amenities, the pros and cons of Lagoon living, we'll talk about the schools, whether Murata is safe or not, and whether it's the best fit for you and your lifestyle. So stick around because I'll cover all of this and I'll even share some things you won't find on Google. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. A little over five years ago, my wife Kate and I sold almost every everything we own, packed up and drove 1,200 miles south to our new home here in Tampa Bay, and we have been loving it ever since. I'm also a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group, where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the greater Tampa Bay area. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. You can put them in the comments down below. Those are really helpful for other viewers also, but also don't hesitate to connect with me personally. All of my contact information is down there. There's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule time that's most convenient for you. But let's go check out what Murata has to offer. So if you're not familiar with where Murata is located, it's just about 35 minutes north of downtown Tampa. Now, that does depend on the time of day and what traffic is like. It can really take anywhere between 35 minutes and as much as 55 minutes if there is heavy congestion through that area, which is not uncommon. So keep that in mind. It's not like it's a hop, skip, and a jump right around the corner. So if you have to work in areas like McDell Air Force Base, you know, San Antonio might not be the best fit for you. There are other areas, you know, that might make more sense. Places like, you know, Wesley Chapel as an example, West Chase, those are also very popular suburbs. When it comes to the greater Tampa Bay area. So just something to keep in mind. Now, Murata is only seven minutes away from I-75. It's just 15 minutes north of Wesley Chapel, you know, giving you access to a lot of great amenities in the area, you know, specifically shopping. You know, it's something to keep in mind. Now, for those of you who want something that is close to the Gulf of Mexico, this is gonna pull you a little bit farther in the way than you're probably comfortable with. You know, you're gonna be about an hour and 10 to an hour and 20 minutes away from Clearwater Beach, which is, really the most popular beach and probably one that you would choose if you're in Murata. You could go up to Fred Howard in Pasco, but that's not the white sugar sand beaches with crystal clear water that most people are thinking about. Now, I know you're like, Juan, I'm buying a lagoon. Why do I need to go to the beach? Well, it is important to some people and I wanna make sure that you have perspective on drive times because location is very, very important if you have to travel to work or if you have family or if your ideal lifestyle was being close to the water. You know, a lot of people love to be within 30 minutes to 45 minutes of the beach. Once you get to that hour or an hour and 20 minute threshold, that really puts you in a different position. Now it's a day trip to the beach as opposed to packing up the car and just going hanging out. I want to make sure I'm sharing that transparently and everybody has an understanding. If you're going to be working at McDell Air Force Base, that's going to be about a 50 minute drive on the regular. So again, assume that it could be as much as an hour and 10 minutes to get there. Not necessarily ideal. You know, if you're going to be shopping at Costco and Target, you're only a 15 minute drive away to the Tampa Premium Outlets. That entire location over there has so many shops. I mean, shops galore. We've talked before about the Grove. That's roughly about 12 minutes, you know, with traffic from San Antonio. Also, that gets you to create all of the wonderful uh, shops and restaurants they have there. You know, the nightlife that comes along with that. There's even a putt-putt course over there, which is pretty cool. Also, you know, the shops at Wiregrass aren't far either. Again, all of these are in Wesley Chapel, but right on the border of San Antonio. You know, Wesley Chapel being one of the most popular suburbs in all the greater Tampa Bay area for the last 10 years has really grown and Murata's kind of taking the handoff there, you know, so it's really conveniently located in terms of access to the highway, access to great shopping, again, Costco, Target, they're putting in a Target XL over there, and the Publix grocery store that, that Murata has that is exclusive to the community there is only three minutes out. <laughs> so you could literally ride your bike over there or take the golf course. It is that close. So when it comes to amenities and location, you know, you've really got a lot to love there when it comes to drive times in Murata. When it comes to amenities, Murata takes the cake 
Hands down, no one is even close in the greater Tampa Bay area. I mean, they have the largest man-made lagoon in the entire United States, 15 full acres. We've got obstacle courses over there. You've got water slides over there. There's a private beach. You've got cabanas. There's a tiki bar. <laughs> you can kayak, you can paddle board. There's a lap pool over there. I mean, there's a gathering area with a screen so you can view movies and, and uh, sporting games. I, I mean, it's insane all of the amenities that are in in this community and it is something to absolutely love. But if that necessarily isn't for you every day, because it's not, you can also go check out the resort style pools that are outside of the lagoon. There are tennis and pickleball courts. There are bike paths. There are walking paths. There are golf cart paths. There's dog parks. There's children's playgrounds or tot lots as they call. Them. There are so many different things to take advantage of in this community. It's absolutely stunning. So when it comes to amenities, Murata has them hand down because again just because you go to the lagoon community it may not be your primary interest you know it's cool to have that there they're not completely private it's meaning it's not exclusive to residents they do sell a portion of the tickets to the public and they do that for a few different reasons mainly to help supplement the cost that is associated with running that lagoon if it was exclusive to the community your CDD fees and your HOA fees would be astronomically high so being able to supplement that by selling tickets to the public, that's very beneficial. I know there are some people who prefer to have that type of exclusive access to the amenities in their communities, and I can understand that, but you know, this community is really well designed and they try to do a really fair and balanced job of not putting the entire burden on the residents there. So that's something to consider, you know, when you're making this move here, but the amenities are second to none. Now, when it comes to the type of real estate you can find in Murata, there really are a lot of options. Currently, there are six home builders in the community. You've got Lennar, DR Horton, Moronda, you've got LGI, Homes by West Bay, and Biscayne. And there are different tiers in there as well. You know, you've got the tier one builders like Lennar, DR Horton, then you take that next level up and end up in uh, semi-custom builders with Homes by West Bay and Biscayne. So you do have some flexibility here. Now there are single family homes that range from three bedrooms all the way up to five bedrooms with two to four bathrooms, square footage can go anywhere from you know the low 1800s all the way up to over 4,000 square feet there's plenty to choose from there you also have uh, condos if that's a better fit for you there are two and three bedroom uh, condos that are available and then you also have access to single story villas you know two and three bedroom options on those too so a lot to choose from when it comes to what floor plans make the most sense for you heck there's even uh, what they're referring to as next generation homes where it is a full floor plan and then they're adding an additional space for maybe the students who are still living with you or your parents who are coming back home because maybe they need some extra assistance where there is another primary suite and a kitchenette so along with the living space it's it's really really cool the way it's laid out and we're having clients choose to build those types of properties also because they are in similar situations and these are something definitely worth taking a look at oh and i almost forgot to mention medley which which is a 55 plus community that is really targeted at active lifestyle seniors. And that is carved out inside of Murata as well. Really cool that they have that option also. Now, when it comes to home prices, this is where things can vary wildly. If you're considering a villa, you can find those starting in the low 200s. If you're looking at a townhome, you can find those in the 300,000 range. If you're looking for a single family home, you're gonna find those starting around $400,000, depending on the size and the lot you choose, going up to over well over a million dollars. We're talking about 1.2 to 1.5 million dollars completely finished. That would be, you know, the builder model with every single option you could find in these communities with, you know, homes by West Bay or Biscayne, but definitely offering great options for every type of homeowner. And if you're wondering what the average is, because that's where most people buy over the last 30 days, the average single family home sold in Murata for right around $463,000. So that helps lend a lot of perspective, I think. So I always like to share that. The average townhome closed right around $305,000 and the average condo closed at right around $305,000. And that leads us to our next question, which is what is the cost of living in Murata? Now I wanna start with some of the fees because when you move into one of these master plan communities, it's not as simple as buying the home and just paying your taxes. There are gonna be a lot of fees associated with master plan community living, especially when there's the largest man-made lagoon in the country in your backyard. So let's talk about it. You're gonna have your one-time initiation fee, 
you're gonna have your monthly lagoon fee, you're gonna have your HOA fee and your CDD fees on top of your taxes and your mortgage and your insurance. So just make sure you keep that in mind. Now, these are going to be specific to the type of property you purchase, the community you purchase in which specific neighborhood and the size of the property. So there's a lot of factors when it comes to this. I can give you a little bit of insights on these numbers. The initiation fee for a single family home is $1,650. Villas are 1,200 and townhomes are $1,000. All of those are plus tax. So keep that in mind also. The monthly lagoon fee is $35 plus tax, which ends up being right around 42 bucks. Remember, that is a monthly fee charged to you. It also gives you access to resident only activities, entertainment, discounts to private spaces, first access to cabanas, those types of things also. It even gets you discounted tickets at the other lagoons in the greater Tampa Bay area like Epperson, South Shore Bay, Sea Air soon to come, and then also an Angeline when that's built. HOA fees range anywhere from the $120 range to up over $230 range. Now they do come with some specific things. Some of the communities offer free cable and internet and the internet is not slow y'all, it's super fast. It's like 500 gigs up and 500 gigs down. Total nerd talk, I understand that, but that's fast internet. So just keep that in mind. It's all underground and it runs through the community, which is really cool also. Now when it comes to CDD fees, this is the thing that throws people off. CDD stands for Community Development District. And what is CDD fee is, is the developer at some point took a loan to lay all of the infrastructure in that community and they borrowed money in the form of a bond. And you as the resident have to pay that bond back over time. So can CDD fees, you know, stack up and add on to your, your overall cost of ownership? They absolutely do. Again, this is gonna be specific to property size, location and neighborhood, you know, so reach out to us, happy to answer more questions on those. We can get you the specifics when you know exactly what type of property you like. We can absolutely talk about that. Now, CDD fees do get added to your taxes at the end of the year. You pay them differently than you pay your HOA. HOA is, an, is a governing body. The, uh, the CDD fee gets paid back to the government. <laughs> so they come at tax time to make sure they collect that from you. All right, when it comes to the pros and cons of living in Murata, the obvious one is the giant 15 acre man-made lagoon. Not having to go to the beach to have a beach experience is absolutely amazing, y'all. And I, I gotta be honest with you, I love the Gulf of Mexico. I love living near the water. It is one of the biggest blessings I've ever had in my entire life. Our family moved here because of it. But when you step on the grounds of these incredible communities, it is very hard to argue that that curated experience isn't one to behold. I'm being dead honest, right? You don't have to worry about wildlife that is in the lagoon like you do in the Gulf of Mexico. You don't have to worry about riptides. It's crystal clear. I mean, you can rent a kayak, you can paddleboard there. You know, the experience is unbelievable. The obstacle course for the kids, the slides, the man-made beach, the swim up tiki bar, you know, go watch a game, food truck, are out there. There's so many different things to do there. The lagoon is insane. Another pro that comes with living in Murata is how clean the community is, right? This community actually ranks really well in terms of safety and crime in the state of Florida um, and in the greater Tampa Bay area. So that is something that most people really appreciate. You know, according to niche.com, that's where that information comes from. So I want to share that with you guys. But like, we get asked that all the time. And, you know, holding a real estate license, I can't tell you whether something's safe or not. All I can do is share my experience. And if it was me personally, I wouldn't hesitate or think twice about living in Murata. It's not something that would be in the back of my mind worrying about safety all day because the experience is incredible. The residents have been so welcoming and inviting every time I've been here to shoot and film. And our clients are loving their experience so far also. You know, they're in the process of building or have already built a home here and they're loving what Murata has to offer also. The third pro is its access to amenities. Again, we talked earlier about Costco, you know, the great shopping centers in the area. Tampa Premium Outlets, The Grove, Crate, Wiregrass. You know, you've got access to a tremendous amount of resources to you and amenities when it comes to shopping. Minutes away, and you can go to Publix three minutes down the road. There's Chinese in there also. Really cool little venue. There's a salon and a spa right in your backyard because that's important to people, right? How far do I have to go to get my nails done? How far do I have to go get my hair done? I know that matters and that's a giant pro in Murata. 
The fourth pro on my list is the weather. I mean, honestly, we get eight months of absolutely incredible weather here in Florida, and then we get about four months of really hot weather. So that is something to take into consideration. The heat is not for everyone, but we've got wonderful air conditioners here, so that can get you by. You know, really the worst months are gonna be July, August, September. We'll get into those in the cons, but our weather eight months out of the year is lights out. My fifth pro are the different types of real estate you have and the overall cost of ownership because it's all new. I mean, you've got single family homes, you've got townhomes, you've got villas, lots of different options, right? From two bedrooms all the way up to five bedrooms, from two bathrooms all the way up to five bathrooms. I mean, you literally have your pick of the litter. You can get big lots, smaller lots, you can get 55 plus living. You have a lot of different options. And because everything is new, your cost of ownership goes down dramatically. I mean, at the time of this recording, the builders are very aggressive with incentives and they change them all the time. So I can't quote them here. You know, reach out to us and our team. We actually get a price sheet from all of the builders every single week because we have so many clients who are considering relocating here to Murata. So, you know, there are a lot of different options and something for everyone. And the last pro on this list that most people don't talk about is the potential for your real estate investment to grow here. I mean, this is currently the largest man-made lagoon in the country. That, while it may be novel, it does attract a certain type of resident and people want and desire to live here. And because of that, that typically means that real estate values, you know, if you look at a, a community that ranks high in terms of safety, if you look at community that ranks high in terms of education, and then you also add something in like resort style living and lagoon in the backyard, that gives you a lot of potential for future growth in your real estate investment. So that is definitely a huge pro. Now, when it comes to cons, I'm going to be honest with you. Most people don't want all the fees that are associated with these types of master plan communities. However, they keep building them and filling them. <laughs> so again, there are the people, right? Like I don't want to pay for a Disney park pass annually because I'm not going to go that much and I'm going to use it, but I'm not Disney's ideal client, right? There are people who want and love to go to that park. You know, our annual pass holders, they they may go four or five times a year and they believe that it's worth it. And you know, there are going to be the people who believe that Murata is worth it. And I'm here to tell you, you get a lot for your money, but it's not for everyone, right? HOA, CDDs, taxes, you know, you got your monthly lagoon fee. There's a lot to consider when making that move. So just keep that in mind. The second con right now is the limited availability, right? Because they're building in phases and it's become so popular, it is not the easiest thing in the world to just show up and pick out house and then be moved in in the next 30 days. <laughs> it's usually a process. What we typically see is, you know, from people reaching out to us by the time they get their home built, it's usually somewhere between six and 10 months on average. So just keep that in mind. And if you start going into the semi-custom builders where you're picking a lot of your own finishes, you know, those build times can get extended out even further. It may be eight to 12 months or even more. It usually isn't more, but it could be, right? Supply chain issues, something could happen to throw that off, but just keep that in mind. So if you're on a tight timeline, reach out to us because again, there are properties that fall out of contract, but if you gotta be here in the next 30 days, Murata might not work for you. So just keep that in mind. The third con on my list here is if you don't like having an active community where people are at the lagoon and all the, the extra congestion that comes along with that, because remember they're inviting outside residents or non-residents to come to the community also to help you bury some of that cost that comes with more people people coming to the community. You know, it's noisy there on the weekend. There's cars all over the place. There's kids running around. So if you're not thinking that a community that is that active is the right fit for you, then definitely make sure that you're doing your diligence here because like it's going to be active, it's going to be busy, and it could be loud from time to time. Also, it's not like they're partying all night long. That's not the way it works. The lagoon shuts down at a reasonable hour. It's resident focused, right? But just in general during the day, think of weekends, think of holidays, your neighborhood is going to be the congregation point for communities all around. So keep that in mind. And lastly, like I was saying before, you know, being that far away from the coast, that may not be a negative for you at all. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a, a pro, right? You're further away from hurricanes or the potential risk of being, you know, right on the coast, like, you know, a lot of our residents are. However, you know, we are still live in an area that is hurricane prone. Now I'm using that term because I'm not a, <laughs> a uh, 
uh, a weather person and I don't play God on YouTube either. So we don't know when that next potential storm is coming or where it's going to land. Now, St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay has not had a direct shot from a hurricane in over 105 years, which is incredible, but it can still happen. Now, Marada is pretty far off the water, y'all. I mean, we're not talking about right around the corner. We're talking over 30 miles to get to the coast. So that is quite inland, but you could still have to deal with some of the storms, some of the, the, the high winds, and of course the rain that comes along with it. So just keep that in mind. Again, that's not a place where I would be concerned. Guys, I live less than two miles to the beach here, right? I'm, in, I'm at ground zero where that type of activity takes place and you know yes can the winds be strong can you face you know hurricane gust winds absolutely but it is not the same as living on the coast where you're in fear of flooding those types of things so just keep that in mind also now i recognize that while we covered a lot today we're probably not going to answer every single question you have so i'm going to give you two call to actions right now number one feel free to put those questions in the comments down below i respond personally to any legitimate question down there happy to help answer that for you and it allows other residents in the area to help you better understand that too because they love to contribute also number two if you want to go deeper and learn more about Murata or the greater Tampa Bay area don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team all of my contact information is listed down below heck there's even a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you now I want did want to talk about schools because people ask this all the time schools and jobs right well according to niche.com San Antonio and Murata rank an A minus for jobs that's really high y'all in the greater Tampa Bay area has been absolutely you know exploding in popularity we're bringing a ton of jobs to the area so that is something to keep in mind number two the schools currently are rated a b now i would tell you to do your investigation here because some of these schools are going to be an a some of them might be a c just dig a little bit deeper but overall what we're hearing from from our clients and from the residents is they are more than happy with the quality of education that they're receiving currently do your homework greatschools.org is a great website site to check that out there's public school review you know there are other resources you can really dig into to find out the quality of education facebook groups are wonderful i tell people that all the time the pasco county school district website is actually very very good and there are a lot of options out here too y'all that's the public schools don't forget that pasco county is school of choice and also you have STEM and Magnet and other charter schools available to you also. So I hope you guys got a tremendous amount of value out of today's video. YouTube is gonna put two more videos up here that you, they think you're gonna love. Check out our last video on Murata. I think you might love that also. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.